was getting frustrated with the amount of time it was taking to make change. I think there's a lot of people in the community that wonder, you know, we've had a, uh, a budget deficit for a really long time. Why can't we get things passed in order to fix it? Same with the pension crisis, same with uh, tax reform. and. Uh, so that was one of the reasons I ran. I want to make sure that government is more accessible and more transparent and really uh, restore the concept of service to public service while enacting policies to unleash our economy and transform Pennsylvania into being the top state for jobs and opportunity. So I'm going to be working very aggressively. I, I, I believe in government reform. I will be introducing a term limits amendment uh, to the Pennsylvania Constitution. I believe in term limits. And I'm also going to be focusing on economic growth and workforce development. One of the things uh, in education in particular, uh, we have uh, workforce development issues. Uh, so from the business end, that's part of it, and also from the education end. I would like them to know that I have the constituents in mind every single time that I'm voting, uh, that I'm hardworking, that my door is always open if there is an issue that they need help with, and um, that I'm really interested in continuing my service above self and the public and doing public service. My philosophy is that the people uh, who I serve are my employer, they are my bosses, and so I have about 66,000 bosses out there that I work for. And so I, I, I believe that it's not just a, a slogan or not just a catchphrase, mm -hmm. I actually believe that. And so whoever comes to my office, uh, whoever needs uh, help with state government, I am there to serve you. That's what I was elected to do and I believe that very strongly.